CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.3, Given a Scenario, Detect, Remove, and Prevent Malware Using the Appropriate Tools and Methods. Malware Removal Tools Now that we've explored the different types of malware, it's time to dive into something just as important. How to detect, remove, and prevent these threats. In this video segment, we will look at a variety of tools and methods that are not only essential for protecting systems in the real world, but are also key for acing the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 exam. Whether you're managing IT in a business environment or prepping for your certification, mastering these techniques is a must. So let's jump into how some common tools and methods can keep our critical IT systems safe and secure, starting with Windows Recovery Mode. In Windows, when malware takes over your system and you can't boot it up normally, recovery mode can be your best friend. This specialized boot environment allows you to troubleshoot without interference from malicious software. It gives you access to a variety of system recovery tools, such as System Restore, Startup Repair, Command Prompt, and even the ability to reinstall the operating system. Recovery mode is often used when there is a critical issue preventing the system from starting normally such as severe malware infections or corrupted system files. This environment operates outside the main operating system, which means it doesn't load most of your system's drivers or software, including any malware that may be installed. For example, if ransomware locks down your entire computer, booting into recovery mode may allow you to regain access and start the cleanup process. In the vast realm of information technology, the security of your device stands as a paramount concern. Just as you wouldn't leave the door to your home unlocked, you shouldn't leave your devices unprotected. To accomplish this, we have a few different tools. First up is antivirus software, which is often the first line of defense against malware. It works by scanning files for known viruses and blocking them before they cause harm. However, antivirus programs aren't foolproof. New or evolving malware strains can sometimes slip past them, which is why it's essential to keep the software updated and run regular scans. But what if the antivirus doesn't catch everything? That's where anti-malware tools step in. While antivirus focuses on viruses, anti-malware tools cast a wider net, targeting threats like spyware, adware, and ransomware. If you're dealing with more advanced threats, such as ransomware that encrypts your files, anti-malware software can be your go-to solution. Both antivirus and anti-malware are software tools designed to detect, prevent, and remove malicious software. With an up-to-date antivirus and anti-malware in place, the next component used in securing a device is a software firewall. This is another type of software that is installed on a device, designed to monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic to prevent unauthorized access to your system. By filtering incoming and outgoing traffic, a firewall can ensure that harmful data packets are blocked, while safe ones are allowed through. This is particularly helpful in preventing malware from sneaking in or stealing sensitive data. Configuring a firewall properly ensures that your files and network remain safe from external threats. However, no tool can substitute for well-informed users. This is where user education becomes critical. Training users to recognize potential threats is one of the most effective ways to prevent malware infections. Teaching employees how to avoid phishing scams, identify suspicious links, and practice safe browsing can drastically reduce the company's risk. Even the most secure system can be compromised by a single careless click. And since phishing remains one of the most common entry points for malware, anti-phishing training is a must. Anti-phishing training helps users identify deceptive emails that could lead to malware infections. Management teams are often concerned that employees might open these malicious messages and infect the entire network. By educating staff to spot suspicious emails, double-check the sender's address, and avoid clicking on unknown links, you can significantly reduce the risk of a phishing attack. But what happens if malware manages to get in anyway, especially in the form of a rootkit? This is where drastic measures, like OS reinstallation, might be necessary. Sometimes, malware can burrow so deeply into the system that it becomes impossible to remove, particularly in the case of rootkits, which can hide in critical system files. When malware can't be eliminated, reinstalling the operating system might be the only way to wipe it out completely. For instance, if a rootkit compromises your system beyond repair, 
a fresh OS reinstallation will give you a clean slate. But keep in mind, while performing an OS reinstallation is commonly a last resort that will work for most malware infections, it still might not be enough to get rid of a pesky boot sector virus. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.